My name's Sue Wickerson. I'm a botanical illustrator. Plants are my life. They've been my life for a long time, since childhood. Um, going out into the bush with Dad, I was born and brought up in West Africa. And the excitement of going out, looking for plants to collect, looking for information. So it was always attention to detail. And so there's colour, there's texture, there's nuances of, of change of shape. I mean, there's just so much to, to see, to learn about, to enjoy. It's sensory journeys that draw you back to different parts of the world. The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi is a location I've always wanted to visit. In the Grand Mosque, they, they have botanical and floral designs all over the floor, all over the columns. You know, it's quite different from the geometric shapes. In making some inquiries and doing some research, there was no information about the plants in the mosque. And then I wanted to find out about the plants in the Holy Quran. And so that's, that started this whole project. Working with Dr. Shahina Gazanfar at the Royal Botanic Gardens Kew is so inspiring. And she's got such a vast knowledge of, of the plants of the Middle East in particular. And so Dr. Shahina has written the text for the book, including new research. And I'm illustrating the plants and have traveled to find living material to work on. And so I just feel really privileged that I'm actually working with her on this project. Botanical illustration or scientific illustration, I was trained as a scientific illustrator, is a certain niche of the art world. So there is a, a responsibility to get the details right, to portray the plant as naturally as you can, to show all the different stages of the plant, but also in a really interesting way as well and in a, in a beautiful way, to bring out the beauty of the plant or you know, what are the points of difference about the plant. This is the first time in history that this collection of plants have been illustrated in a cohesive manner by a single artist and have been pulled together as a body of work and it's something that I'm so proud of. And without people's help, I certainly couldn't have done it and for that I really thank them.